Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you something a little bit different because I wanted to check if I can paint a background with only waterproof black ink. But first I did a really rough sketch with my Big Evolution HB pencil. I wanted the sketch to be just barely visible so I can paint over it and don't worry that it will be still visible on the finished background. And the Big Evolution pencil is ideal for this. It's kind of plasticky so it does not leave black strong lines but at the same time it's softer than hard pencils like for H for example so it does not scratch the paper so much. For inking I used Dr. PH Martin's Black Star ink, the matte version. I like this ink very much because it's waterproof. That means that I can layer the ink washes without worrying that I will destroy the thing that's already painted. This often happens with watercolors. If you paint over a wash that's already dry, for example add some details, and you use too much water you can reactivate the pigment that's already on the paper, which makes this place kind of lighter and washed out rather than darker. But with waterproof ink, like with acrylic gouache for example, this does not happen. On the other hand, if you paint something too dark and you would like to make it more lighter, you cannot scrub it with the brush, it will just not do anything. With watercolor you can get out of some troubles with this method, but with waterproof ink you have to be more careful what you're painting. But I personally like that this ink is waterproof, I could use not waterproof ink, but I prefer uh, using waterproof inks because it gives me the freedom of painting out of order. So I don't have to paint from the lightest tones to the darkest ones, like with watercolors I can paint in whatever order I feel like doing. And it's kind of a liberating thing for me, is the thing that I like the best when painting with acrylic gouache too. It's also kind of similar to painting digitally. So I'm diluting this ink a lot with water using small ceramic dishes, that's why I can get these really light tones, but even diluted this ink is still waterproof after it dries. This allows me to paint the whole thing with only one black ink and my usual watercolor brushes and I'm using here the Canson Sagran paper, I think this is how you read it. And I'm using this paper because it's a mixed medium paper, it's not a straight watercolor paper. So I can use other tools here. And because this is just a test of painting a background that can be used in a Japanese style comic. Ideally I would like to be able to use other tools here to paint the characters and add some lines on top of the background that I did with the ink. So I can use a dip pen for example like this one here, this is a Saji nib dip pen, that is one of the types of nib pens used by Japanese comic artists. But I could also use my fountain pens or some felt tip multiliners like the Copic multiliners or even ballpoint pens to add the characters and the details. Ok, so what is this anyway? This is a test background for a project that we are planning with Kana, we would like to do this next year. And because this is a manga, so a Japanese comic, those are mostly printed in black and white using the raster effect, so the small little black dots that you can see when you look closely at the print, to simulate the grays. So theoretically I could just skip the color and paint straight in grays using black ink to make a background for a project like this more efficiently and to be more in control how it will look like when it's turned into black and white. I also wanted to test how a background like this would look with the raster effect on and printed on not so good quality paper. So I did some tests and actually the background looked too good. It looked like a photo with the raster effect kind of filter on. Especially that there are some Japanese comic artists that use real photos with just filters on them to make the background for their comics. So I think I will have to aim for a little bit a different style for the project we are planning with Kana. But ok, this is it for this video, I hope you liked it. As always feel free to comment, share and subscribe and you can also support me on Patreon. See you in the next video. Bye!